Hi, what's up? Sally, 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 Sally face. Episode one, horror. From what I've seen, uh, judging by the reviews, this game is overwhelmingly positive by all reviews. So let's see. What is this game about? This game is about... This game is about a dark mystery is unfolding. Delve into an unsettling adventure following the boy with the prosthetic face and a tragic past. In the first episode, strange neighbors Sally Face and his father move into an apartment filled with all tenants in an unfortunate crime scene. Little did they know what misfortune still awaits. Unravel the sinister mysteries of Sally's world to find the truth that lies hidden beneath the shadows. Uh, episodes. The, the game is composed of five episodes in total. The first episode offers a short introduction to Sally's face, which the subsequent episodes greatly expand upon. Gameplay. In this story-driven adventure game, players will interact with Sal's world and his nightmares. The main path typically requires casual effort. However, there are hidden layers to be uncovered that will invoke a bit of head-scratching for those players. Oh. To the challenge. Let us begin. Dun dun. Dun dun. It was just like last time. Only this time it started in a hospital. Jesus. What the fuck? Hello? It's okay, so everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Oh, what are you talking about? Come and see. Weird, sounded like my dad. Oh, this 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 seems very cool. Looks like something there, but it's too dark to see. Oh, what can I jump on that stuff? God damn! Oh, a key! A key! A key I found on the floor of the hospital. Okay, this is kind of cool. The stall is pretty cool. Anything over here? No. Nothing over there. P. Oh. Huh? Uh. A B C D. So it must be D. Yep, it's D. D, not P, zero. D, G, F, E. D, O, dog. Oh, I got it. What, what's happening? Who died? My dog. Who's a good dog? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Di Diana Fisher, 1948, beloved mother and wife. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is a big ass grave. Batteries not included. Passcode. It's locked. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Is that my pop up? Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. What the fuck? This is your fault. 
Well, this is creepy. Mom? Are you? Ooh. And that's when I woke up. Hmm. Yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Addison. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Oh, so I'm a dude. I thought it was a chick. Okay, let's do a little exploring. Just some stuff that I got from the store, nothing important. I need a poo poo. Sleep aid. That's so much trouble sleeping at night after. Boom. That melatonin. Balan that melatonin be kicking sometimes. Sal's room. Who the fuck is Sal? Sally face. I I see you've made yourself at home already. Gizmo must be must be nice. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. <gasps> Another one. I was wondering where that was. Hell yeah. Can I play it? Oh, I can't play it. That sucks. It's Papa's room. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, kid! I decided to take a break from unpacking. That's not a bad idea. We've been it, we've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It might be, it may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I know you, I know y'all do, but but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know, so anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into much trouble. See ya. I'm gonna go buy Sal Vulcano from Impractical Jokers. <laughs> Four oh one. No one's home. <clears throat> what the fuck? Hello? <clears throat> what are you standing here? Who are you? What happened in that room? Police business kid, why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that? Why is that? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weird kid, uh, stupid weirdo kid, grumble grumble. Who the fuck are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What a fucking twat. Why are you standing there? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from being, from seeing what they ought not to see. Now, Scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Yikes. Oh. This guy thinks he's a... I hate these fuckers. Power hungry people. Go to the fifth floor. <laughs> he's in here. That's his name. <laughs> this, floor is 
This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make sh make your way to the nearest exit. Boom, boom, boom. 501. Locked. Locked. Dun. Locked. Unlocked. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir? Are you okay? Ooh, you shouldn't have can't come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors in a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? <gasps> what the? What the? Oh, I got the shiver, Scooby. Let's get out of here. Run! Come on, Scoobs. That's weird, the bathroom door is locked. Is the cop? It's not the cop. Oh well, not my problem. Caution, what floor? No one's on. Whoa! This girl's thick. Hey! Oh my! Sorry you just started me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal Vacano. Pleasure to meet ya. Sal, I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. I keep things up and running. See if you ever need help with anything. Don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Open up! Open up! <laughs> Level 2. There's gotta be something in the basement. Hmm, I guess no one's home. What the fuck? Sounds like someone sharpening a knife. Damn, no one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Help. Oh, nah. <sighs> EDP vibes, EDP vibes. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in. Salvacano. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Salvacano. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is in your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was once young, once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang. Are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and it will be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. If you mess with my collection, you're messing with my family. Got it. Yes, sir. Not a problem. I will be giving you any troubles get to here i want to take one back in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies a great accomplishment it is to have the full set you can look all you want but don't even think about touching them what's a glitter pony oh my god she doesn't know what a glitter pony is is she human My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies? Rainbow Spectacular, it's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. This guy is fucking creepy. Get me the fuck on out of here. Charlie's a fucking creep. That is a knife getting sharpened in 201. What the fuck? 
Miss Gibbs Gibson. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick and treat, isn't it? Ooh. Er. Stupid. Stupid. Good for nothing, kids. Grumble, grumble. Damn. No one wants to talk to Salvacano today. Addison. Oh dear. What a frightful. Ugh. Pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of services? How do you know who I am? Can I come in? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Heaven, so I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you can understand, sure. Goodbye, farewell friend. Is that the manager? A detective? What's going on? Hello, young man. Just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out that that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye bye. Oh, so there was a murder. Hey Lisa, hey Sal, what's up? Oh, okay. Uh, how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on 24-7 for energy maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another, but you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people seem to complain a lot about small things. He can't sweat the small stuff out. It's just no way to live, you know? Right. Take it, take it from me. You focus on good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. So do you know anything that happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. But best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two could would get along great. He's downstairs in her apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. It's just people's overactive, overreactive imaginations. Too much sweet, sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. <sighs> Jesus, that took forever. Alright, what do we got? Gee, I am sure... I sure am looking forward to, not, to using this knot. Where's Larry? Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry though. <laughs> I just go in like that. There's Larry. Ooh, treasure chest. What the hell was that? Okay, Larry. This is uh, never mind. Imagine meeting a new person right in, outside of your room. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Your mom said I I should come say hi. I just moved into forward to. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. 
Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So do you, do you, you, like, have no face in there, there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal, my friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I don't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once he started calling me that, I figured if I own the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, So You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha! That's what your mom said too. Mother's knows best. This ease into it. I like your shirt. Thanks, it sounds for a Sally face, huh? Oh shit. I do have my own clothing like so. Haha, <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity. Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out the song. It's the first single of the full album comes out in a few months. Copyright! Finally! That was a good song, but that, that took forever. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta go guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free. Well, it's maintenance gig. It's cool. I don't mind it. I get to listen to, my, to music as loud as I want to. Which is not around. Nice! Yeah, it's like my own little back cave. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Anderson. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you. To him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate that stuff. Myself, I hate the stuff myself, but the dolls seem to love it. What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What was it? The killer's still in the building. No way, well, but how do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This is some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mr. Sanderson with a clock toilet. I was just fi finishing up when I heard him bursting, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done, Herman. Tell me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear. Man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyway... It all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know, shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to a detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough, hmm. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Okay, we're getting... What's this thing? That's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some evidence to show that detective something they were looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robber, robbery hostage situation that should, should clear out the cops for sure. I guess they'll, they'll buy us a few minutes when they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too. But I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with arm robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm. Yes, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this head to your room and let me know when you're ready. 
Just press shift button there to call me. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. You ready? Gotta get up to my room first. Call me once you get there. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this thing. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403. Here's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Oh look, ponies! There's these little figures. Looks like when it's missing, I can't see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Miss Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it. That day, I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her. He offered her in the first place. That dude always did give me creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you, you know? Well, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can't find that toy. Wait. Why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Char isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks, fucking fatty. Alright, alright. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I got the feeling you've done this before? Haha, <laughs> nah, I just watched too much TV. I'm not gonna lie, this this game is like a, a game to play as the last thing for sure, because the reading on it is like making me fucking tired. No, two or three. Sally face my man, good luck. Huh? Wait, what? Get toy from Charlie in 204.
How am I supposed to do this? Confused. They gotta like talk to him about something. What about the ghost that's over here? Okay, I got in Charlie's room, but he won't let me near stuff. Mm, looks like you need you have to come up with another distraction. Any ideas? I don't know about Charlie. Is, is that he likes to eat and hoard? Okay, I'll think of something. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chuck put put you up to this? I just got weird feelings about who's Chuck. He's a big hit on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. So... Uh, get him food from the vending machine? No. No. Maybe get money from my dad so I can buy something in the vending machine and then give it to him. Right? At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in boost, not totally giving up on life on me. Hey, a quarter score. Okay. That's what I was supposed to do. Let's see if uh, anything with her. Oh, okay. I met Larry. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have friends again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? <laughs> well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders in this track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Oh, this bitch. Hey, Chuck, who... Whoa, um, hey. I'm Sal, just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chuck, uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. 
Nice meeting you, Chug. How do you get your nickname? Do you think this building is haunted? Why did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. I knew it. I knew it. I'm not crazy. Ha! Huh. So you've seen that old man? Old man? No, I think there's... I think that's just crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on the fifth sometimes. But these, I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than that. Just an old bomb. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one believes me. Well, I believe you. Oh, thanks, Sally. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl. I thought it was homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, so you have a key for 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way. I'm not going there. Ghost lives in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check it. I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but maybe you can trade me something for it. You want to trade? If you let me borrow the key, I could give you um a quarter. Oh man, heck yes. To your ticket. Good luck and thanks for the quarter. Be careful out there. It's so spooky. Finally, progress. Jesus, this shit's taking forever. <laughs> Is anyone in here? It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'm my friend. You are? Go some Megan. Yeah, sure, my name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have a pigtails on your hair? That's for girls, Sally. Ha, huh. whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails. I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why are you crying before? Everyone always runs from me. When you try to talk to him, I get so lonely up here, all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. Must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are all. Hello, little girl? Are you still here? Huh? Hmm, I might have a use for this, but I need something to mix it up. Why is he here? The fuck? Chug, what are you doing up here? Asking myself the same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. Yeah, but you were gone for so long. I need to check on you. You know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking, maybe keep, you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You see more into it. All right, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. Oh, maybe I could use the key. On this dude. Nope. Uh. Here we go. Don't you get tired of standing there all day? Grunt. Any news on finding the killer? You find out your time brain what police evidence will you better pray I don't find out. Oh, he's back. Okay.
Finally, Jesus fucking Christ, just coming right up. T. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Addison T has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Okay. Let's see if we could give him some sleeping aid, some melatonin. Episode. Oh, is that TS smell? Yeah, I got. I just got some from. Oh, just love Addison T. Give it here. Jesus. He's slurping that shit. Oh, ah, it's so tasty. So relaxing. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Got a toy. It's about god dang time. Is it still jamming out? Nope. Come on, do the speed run. I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smith's criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give that to the detective and it'll be it. How's it going, officer? Grumbo, grumbo. I think I found something. What the hell are you talking about, kid? Well, I got this. Look, I'm busy here. If you got something important, go share it with the detective down on the first floor. Oh my god. Where is it, dude? I forgot he was even here. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with Larry, boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager. What's the criminal record? Uh, I, uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please reframe from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this phone, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it. Ah, wrong place. You know, for uh, this is definitely a unique game from other games we played so far. But it's just it's long, you know, it's tedious. Oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> they got him. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Charlie! I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. 
Sure. Uh, the corner? Yeah. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Jesus. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. 15 years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Trolley was falsely accused. Oh shit. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you completely, you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please, keep the thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Oh, I'm in prison? I don't think you're a murderer, so. You might be the only one. Oh shit. That's cool.